All right, let's find g prime of x. Given that x equal, or g of x equals a x plus b, where a and b are constants. Now again, a and b are constants, so we have to treat them like. It's, in other words, it's like if I have another function g sub 2 of x, that's equal to 2x plus 1. If I find g prime of 2, that's just going to give me 2. Because the derivative of 1 is 0, the derivative of 2x is 2. So if I think about that over here, the derivative of ax is a and the derivative of b is 0, so I'm left with g prime equals a. Another way of thinking about this is g of x is a linear function and since the derivative represents a slope of a tangent line and the line has a constant slope, that automatically says that whatever the slope of the line is, is the derivative and that's also true.